A farmer puts seed in the soil. He doesn't dig it up immediately. He has patience, and when he has patience to leave it there and trust God, the growing happens. The transformation happens, and it is that way with all of life. You can bring forth real good with patience. It says in Luke 8, verse 15, And as for that, in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bring forth fruit with patience. You endeavor, as I endeavor, to be loving, to be patient, and to be flexible. You want to perceive the good in situations and people all the time. When someone has tried his or her best, what do you do? I ask you to give generous praise in recognition of the results or the good intentions behind the work as a parent, as an employer, as a friend, or a teacher. You are especially mindful of the importance of your positive words and reactions to others. Times of seeming limitation and shortcomings are exercises in learning and in growing. And with loving kindness, You understand that each person is on a path of unfolding perfection. And you look forward to new and fresh experiences with an eagerness, and yet with realistic and positive expectations. See, you have become patient. You have become loving. You have become positive and appreciative. And because you are patient and loving, your words and responses are always positive and appreciative. I pray today that you are bringing forth real good in your own life and in the lives of others with patience. 